Hey everybody, today I am going to use my electric lawnmower, which is uh, something that I normally do occasionally for my yard, because I'm starting to get a little bit of the wispy things that are coming up from the grass. So this is my cable that's used to power it, and that's an olive tree from Spain right there that's growing. And anyways, I've wrapped it around the railing of my deck, just so I don't pull it out of its uh, receptacle. The other thing I'm doing, excuse the noise, but I've got these little fans here that keep me a little bit cooler. I'm also going to put on this hat, which helps because it's pretty warm out here today. So it's getting dry. As you can see, my grass is starting to dry out a little bit. It goes dormant and then it comes back in a full growth in the fall. But these little things here, are not that easy to mow with a push mower that I have, which is a manual mower, no power required. So I'm just kind of showing you, there's a lot of it here. So what I do in these situations normally is I go through and mow with my electric mower. So this is it. You've seen some of my other reviews of this, but I thought I'd show it to you just in uh, general. Uh, this one here is a little bit different than the cobalt mower that I had, which I found that I'm able to use this one and I do not need a grass catcher. So I paid less for it for something I don't need. And it's a little bit thinner and a little bit lower wattage, which um, is okay too, because I'm just cutting down grass. Normally I go through here with a, just a manual push mower and I'm able to get things done but every now and then the grass grows when I go somewhere for a week and I want to trim it. So this is it. Um, as you can see here, I'm using some very thick cable. And the reason for that is I don't want the voltage drop to harm the motor. So that's something to consider. Longer runs, thicker cable. This is 12 gauge. So it will fit on this management uh, item here, which is called a cable management piece. You just put the cable in there and attach it. I just chose to tie it in a knot and then I just bring it up higher so I can hold on to it to keep it out of my way. I have the mower set on the highest level. So I'm cutting a small amount and allowing for the grass to protect the roots. So that's just been my way of doing things. I keep it high and it's worked really well over the years. Um, there's a side chute here you could open, okay? I uh, have this set up as a mulching mower, so that's the way I prefer to go. Also, if you notice, there's a little thing on there that's uh, from my pets. Another consideration is make sure that you go through your yard and pick up the lazy politicians that are laying around in your grass. So that's uh, pretty much the mower. I'll show you. Again, this is just simple. You push this button, and at the same time... Down on this and it starts it. So without pushing the button, you can't launch it. Um, if you don't have this engaged, you know, it's, it's a the action is push the button, pull back on the safety harness. Okay, so that's really important. That'll keep you from starting it when you least expect it. So I wouldn't work on this thing with it plugged in. Of course, I'd unplug it and. You know, if I had to scrape away some grass or something that was underneath it, I would do that by, you know, certainly unplugging it. It's a lot quieter, and uh, it does not throw up a lot of smoke or anything like that, like you would get with an uh, internal combustion engine. And, you know, it's obvious it's electric. Um, thing to worry about here is the cable. Just make sure you mow away from it, like this way. So put it over here on this edge, and then mow in this direction and you'll have less chance of running it over. If you do run over the cable, go to the source where you plugged it in to your house and unplug it there. Don't try to touch it anywhere here. And I wouldn't recommend uh, mowing in extremely wet conditions. You can do it in damp conditions with no problem. The other thing here is that I've got this, just a regular trimmer. It's electric as well. So I'll just go through and trim things same type of connector. It's a, I push the 
electrical cable to here, attach it there, and then just plug it in here. And as you can see, it's got two strings that stick out of it that trim nicely. Just make sure you get the right size, don't go too large, and you should be okay. Don't go too thin either. I accidentally made the mistake of putting in uh, the type of trimming plastic pieces and it was too big. So I ended up having you know, welts on my legs because a big chunk of plastic would fly off and hit me. So I got that fixed really quickly. So I'll just demonstrate. I'll just run up and down here. You can see this is pretty tall grass and we'll just eat through it and chew it. So I won't be talking anymore. section right here so you can see it. There's the taller grass right there. There's the thinner grass. Let's get nice and close up and personal. All right. There you go. Okay. The other things to watch out for. That looks like dog poop, but it's not. That's a espresso cups that uh, I just tossed the coffee over here in the morning. So quite a bit of it ends up over here. So that's what I got to do today. Thankfully it's shaded and it's not wet. It's real dry. So it'll probably be the last time I mow this for a little while until the rain starts coming back out here. But uh, yeah, this is the jungle that I'm dealing with. So it's better to use an electric mower, gas mower or something for this rather than a manual mower just to cut through some of this. If you have a manual mower like I do and you're getting all the wonderful exercise just keep in mind that this thing is about the same weight as that uh, so the Fiskars mower that I have is the same amount of effort to push and pull it it's just this is electric uh, this makes more noise it does throw around a little bit of grass so if you're allergic the manual mower the push mower that I have is you know the one made by Fiskars is really good for that Occasionally, I just go through, do a full trim, and then just maintain with the manual push mower. So that's it. It's a little bit. I just thought I'd show you. It works really well. Make sure you mind the cable, mow away from it, and be careful out there. Thanks for watching.